Your life, your rules. Unlocked with Huawei Mate 7's advanced fingerprint security on a 6-inch display. Huawei Mate 7. Huawei. In Colorado, drilling for oil and natural gas using hydraulic fracturing, or fracking, is big business. But questions about its impact on the air and water are far from settled. One side was constantly contradicting the other side. And so we thought that's, that's the perfect role for an academic endeavor in this area. With support from the National Science Foundation, environmental engineer Joseph Ryan at the University of Colorado Boulder heads a team gathering data on the impact of oil and gas development on the environment. The big goal of our project is to take the scientific information and figure out a way to put that into some kind of decision framework. Some way to turn that information into knowledge that can improve our approach to making regulations and developing policy in this area. This graph on the lower right, the red line, shows the increasing level of methane. Research scientist Bruce Vaughn covers a lot of ground in this mobile laboratory. He's measuring methane, a greenhouse gas that is one byproduct of oil and natural gas extraction. Okay, so here's what's in the back of the truck. We have, this is a cavity ring down laser spectrometer. It's measuring methane and methane C13 here. I think one of the most important things we can bring to this study is a feeling of neutrality. We really are all about producing solid science that will help feed the debate with some real information and we don't really have a horse in this race. To simulate a spill of fracturing fluids we're actually injecting a mixture of, of four different compounds. Ryan's team wants to know more about how long fracking chemicals might persist in the ecosystem should they make their way into the groundwater. The, the main goal would be to see how quickly those compounds are, are removed naturally. Some of those compounds are removed uh, rather quickly and that some of the other compounds uh, stay around for, for quite a while, which could possibly present more of a problem for groundwater contamination. The project also looks at issues such as air quality, human health, and energy sustainability. We want to be able to reach people who may have oil and gas development going on nearby them. They don't know where to get information that they can trust. The difficulty of trying to reconcile these two opposing points of view may force them to realize that there must be some better source of information. A renewable energy economy is likely decades away. Putting science to work, understanding how to maximize the benefits of fossil fuels now while curbing the negative impacts. That's a powerful idea.